Good morning, guys. It is Tuesday already, and the girl of the day is sound asleep still. Yep, it's true. Uh, Sophie's been sleeping all that rotting yesterday. It tired her out. After I ended the vlog yesterday, um, we went out for ice cream, and then it was super late getting the girls to bed, so Sophie's sleeping in again. But I don't mind. I love that's one of the perks of homeschool. I love that she likes to sleep in or that she can sleep in when she needs to sleep in homeschool is done for today and we are why does the camera look so blue anyway we are just making banana this. bread right she's gonna do this okay that's an interesting way to pour eggs into our mixture she put she's using a fork right mm -hmm. what'd you learn today what not that one how's your new book is it good yep she finished her other Stacey Gray book that she was reading last week. Now she's reading Island, The Island of the Lost Horses. Is it good? Uh, yeah. She's only two days into it, so and they read for only 30 minutes each day, so um, it takes a while to get to the good parts, right? It takes a yeah. while to get to the good parts, yeah. Anyway, I got out my amazing book because my granddaughter is going to be here this week. Do you guys remember when I made this book? This book that cost $200, I'm not even finished. It's probably going to cost another $100 by the time I finish making it. This awesome, amazing Velcro gobbling book. I still have a huge amount of stuff I have to do to it. Are you going to play with it? Kind of, yeah. Yeah, the girls love like playing with it. Baby thing. Yeah. It's like a baby thing, but there's something so satisfying about ripping off the Velcro, right? Um, Rip off some Velcro and show them. Okay, I mean. Just... Yeah, that is just so. I mean, just it. So I can actually get it. Okay, here she goes. Ripping off the Velcro. Something so satisfying, right? Uh huh. A uh, couple of things about yesterday's vlog. Um, one, just in case you guys caught where Gabby said that Toby only likes Oreo cookies. We do not give our dogs chocolate. Chocolate is toxic for dogs. We don't give him any, but one day, a long time ago, he stole, before he even would take treats from us, I had an Oreo cookie on my lap and I was watching TV and I just turned my head and I saw him prancing away with the Oreo cookie stuffed in his mouth. Yeah. And it, Gabby thinks that that was the funniest thing ever. It was so funny because the Oreo cookie was half the size of his head, right? And it, so that's what she means when she said that he only likes Oreo cookies, but he doesn't actually eat them. And number two, is that I'm gonna try today to edit a voice over video of Sophia's routine at the barn. And I don't know how well it's gonna go over because Sam was showing me how to do it this morning and I'm not that good at that kind of stuff and it was hard even just watching him. So I'm gonna try and do that today. So if it's not up today, it will be up by the weekend because Sam just needs some time to probably help me with it. And yeah, we have some I have a super amazing, fun surprise for this week, too. I have an amazing, super fun surprise. Can you guess what it is? No, but I think it's animals. I gave you six. I gave her three clues. I gave them both three clues. One is furry. The other clue is six. And the other clue was, what was the other clue? Fun. Fun. Fun, furry, Six. Those were my three clues. And what did you come up with? Um, cat. You think a cat with six legs, a furry cat with six legs? No, it's six like kids. Six cats? You think, oh my goodness. All right, you guys all know me. Do you think I would ever bring six kittens into our house? But it's not kittens. That's it? That's all you think? Or dogs or rats. So you think you can bring in six furry animals into our house? Yes. All right, so six furry animals. That's what she thinks I'm bringing into the house. Do you guys think I would do that? Yeah. Anyway, it's a big surprise. I am crazy, I'm animal crazy. No wonder my kids get that. Um, so Sophia, what do you think the surprise is? Six furry kittens. Oh, I thought she was gonna say six bunnies because she wiggled her nose. You think it's six furry kittens too? Or bunnies. Or bunnies. Or puppies. 
or puppies. So yeah. that's what they think. I don't know. I'm not telling. It's a secret, and then you guys aren't gonna get to see it until like Friday. But yeah, very soon our house. It's going to have a super special surprise in it. I told Sam about it, because Sam didn't know, and he said, no, 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 no. And I said, oh yeah, it's already happening. But also, I said to the girls, how do you know I wouldn't bring like a miniature donkey or a miniature pony into our house? I mean, I brought goats into our house. I brought baby sheep into our house and just put diapers on them. Who says you couldn't put a diaper on a miniature donkey or a miniature horse? You think I'd do that? Yeah. Yeah, I think I would too. Then they'd have to live in the basement. No, they could live right up here with us. You could sleep <laughs> in your bed. But it wouldn't if be- If it was a miniature pony, a baby, it would fit in a crate, just like a dog. Yeah. Yeah, so I don't know why they're not guessing that, but it's not all, I'm not, I'm not gonna give it away, but anything is on the table. I have three things of banana bread. In the oven cooking, I have enough to make a whole other loaf and I'm just straightening up the kitchen and I found this sitting on my kitchen counter. Yep. You, it is what you think you're seeing. It is a chicken bone inside a glass of something. Vinegar. Vinegar. Gabby, there is a chicken bone. For my science. So what, to explain this for me. For my science, it's so, supposed to twist up. Okay. So it's a bone sitting in vinegar, and it's supposed to what? Um, twist or do something. In the twist? Next three days. All right. So you guys, we're gonna check it back in three days. So today is Tuesday. On Friday, we are gonna look at this again and see if it's all twisted up. What is it supposed to prove? What's what? The vinegar is bad for you? What's it supposed to prove? I think vinegar is supposed to be good for you. Well, it can do your, like, um, your teeth. It's bad for your teeth. Is that what you're trying to say? This. Do you guys remember when we planted all of these plants? Just one day when we were doing, we were talking about plants for our homeschool. We planted all these plants. We planted these ones, these and ones we planted a bunch more. I think these are. Uh, ooh, and they're getting all really big now and ready to be transplanted into a bigger pot. And we don't have a really good garden at this house, so what we decided we were gonna do was we were gonna do a free for all. And we're gonna put all of our plants inside this huge thing and just make one big planter. So we have all different kinds of plants, don't we, Sophie? How so, this look? Okay. It's like supposed to be a so pizza. Sophie's gonna do that. She's gonna put all of her plants in there, and Gabby is doing her own thing like usual. What's your own thing? What are you doing? Does this look like a, a heart? Pizza slice with um, like a bite out of it. Yeah, like I a guess. Yum. Yum. Looks yum. yum. What are you making? I'm gonna make another one too. Okay. What are you making? Um, a squishy. She's making a squishy. She's That's got a, a sponge here, and we're gonna get some puffy paint tonight, right? Ooh. Mm -hmm. Okay, so on with the show. So look, so wait, first of all, you have to make a hole. So figure out where you're gonna put it. It's a big one, it should go on the edge. Okay. So make a big hole okay. for it. And then you slowly dump this out into your hand. Out into your hand. Hopefully it'll come without me having to put down the camera. You wanna be really careful about the roots. Okay, I need to scoop it a little, but I can't with one hand. All right. Whoa. All right. It's just All right, this is sec here. Let's see loose. if I can pick it out. So we definitely don't want to, uh-oh, damage the root system. It's a couple of different ones there, see? Uh-oh, that guy got ripped. Darn it. Okay, so you're gonna put them really carefully into the dirt. Let them hang over if he wants to. And you can bury them in there. Oh, push them down, good, awesome. All right, so let's get some more plants going on. This is our plant. Super messy, but it's gonna look beautiful. Ants. Whoa. You are not a plant, Sophia. You do not need dirt to grow. Why? <laughs> oh gosh. So we got a lot going on here. We have all this mess 
And puppy paint. We're just testing this. And puppy paint. Mm -hmm. We're gonna find a really good spot for this in the sun and we're gonna let it grow for a bit. And then we are going to put it outside in a couple weeks when it actually gets warm here because it actually might get warm here. So we got the mail and we, got, we found this in our mailbox today. It was all wrapped up in a package addressed to Sam. So of course I opened it because I'm his wife and it's uh, it says purple hand mud. Yeah, so we had no idea what it was. So we had to look it up online and we just found it. And it says hand putty slime Play-Doh. So we are gonna figure out what in the world to do with it. Let's see, Gabby. It I came know what to do with it. like this. Don't it's like smush that purple too. slime stuff. And just like it came with a little magnet stuck to it. I vaguely recall Sam telling me that he ordered some magnetic slime for Easter and it just came out and I'm sure he did not order just one because we have two daughters. One here, one here. <laughs> so I'm sure another one is coming soon. So the unboxing of our magnetic purple Amazing. hand mud slime. Okay, let's see it. Oh. It's putty. It's putty? It's like putty, but like runny. Let's see this. Okay, let's see. Let's put that down there. Will it come up? Let's so, do this. Oh, that's cool. Can you guys see that? Can you tap oh my god, it's it? coming up. <gasps> that's oh my god, it's coming up. So cool. So it's magnetic. You can design it too. <gasps> oh. See, it's coming up. My neighbor said she has magnetic slime. That's and cool. And there's a bit of different color here. Yeah. yeah, it's oh my god! Whoa. <laughs> Whoa! This is like that's all that was in the mail. Yeah. How come you always get to open everything? Next time you will open it. And all I gotta say is, Sam, you better order. Have ordered three of those because Mama needs some slime too. Oh, cool! So good. Try it, it feels so satisfying, doesn't it? I it's know. been a satisfying it feels like just day. Like putty. Toby's like, well, I want to eat it. I don't feel anything. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe no. you should turn your it magnet won't. around. No, it's coming. It's coming. Yeah, turn it around. Try and turn. Okay, it worked for me. Let me there you coming. go. Oh, you got it working it now. Further. Turn it oh, to... and then it just falls. It's like it's Pull it up high now. It's just like slime. We're out for a walk, Daddy, and Gabby tamed Hold a it. wild Mom. cat. Hold these. Guys. Hold her careful. Really feels really big. Does it? Like pregnant big? No, like worm. Big. Okay, watch. Be careful. Mm -hmm. like Be really big. gentle. That's like a crazy wild cat that you just found, and you're around all these chihuahuas that he we was have. He's growing when I started. Okay, him. just just pet him. Pet him. Pet it's him. Okay. Pet his neck, turn him away from the dog so he doesn't see. Here, it's okay. He's purring. Is he? Which means he's not a wild. He's really cute. It's okay, it's okay. Maybe he got dumped. Maybe we should take him home. Well, you can't just kidnap people's pets, but it makes you want to because you're not supposed to let your well, cat let's outside. Take home. Well, does it look skinny? Kinda. All right, put her down. She wants down. I don't know what to do. What do you guys do? What do you do when you take find a cat? Home, she probably please. has a home. Let's take home. Let's take home. No, oh, that would be stealing somebody's cat. She has a home, I'm sure. Smells like cigarette smoke. She's a little thin, but not terribly thin, and she came running to us, so she must be tame. I just feel bad leaving a cat out here to get hit by a car. Daddy, can I hold a <gasps> Uh-oh. Come here, Toby. Good boy. Good boy. It's hard to do with one hand. So, so cool. Come here, Toby. Come here, Toby. Needs come to here. Soil, right? come, oh, come yeah. here. He's a little confused about the whole thing. I ordered two of these magnetic putties at the same time, the same day, from the same place. <laughs> and they were for Easter and I just got one today. And the other one is missing. Now I'm in this house all alone and all the other dogs are missing, except for this one. What are you doing? Why are you free running around? What are you making? Clay. 
Can't this is clay. Can't watch this vlog, like to edit. Oh, okay. Secret Mother's Day project. That's what's going on here. Uh, but I call it Operation Mess. Operation Mess is underway. Look at your hands. The only Operation Mess. You're using paint on you. your hands. Paint. No, I'm trying to make this a pretty, pretty color. Look at mine. Look at mine. Here's this red color. Yeah. But my favorite color. Now is this actually clay? Will this harden up? Uh huh. You cook it, then leave it. Oh, turn. cool. Gonna make. I got an idea what you should make. Yeah, I know Ready? what I'm gonna make. Sure. Ah. All right, we're still we still got a mess going, and we got a surprise for Mother's Day here. Gabby's making something, and it's a secret, so I can't tell you. But it might look like might look like that. Maybe might look like that. Anyways, we're gonna end tonight's vlog, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.